Doctor, and I bring in uh, all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the speed faculties to you. Thank you, Thank you sir. for scoring such an wonderful rank and a great performance. Thank you uh, in ENSS 2021 and AIMS rank number 11 and MCH breast and endocrine surgery. Yes, sir. Thank you. Amazing performance, great results. Thank you. And I think definitely you'll be a happy man today. Yes, I am. <laughs> so we want to hear from you, from Dr. Gohan, from where he's coming from, where he did his medicine, where he did his MS, and why do you want to do breast and endocrine surgery? Sir, I am from uh, Coimbatore. Then I've completed both my undergrad and postgrad from uh, PSG, uh, Medical College Coimbatore. Right. So I have been uh, working in my department as well uh, for the past uh, four years, sir. And uh, then uh, in breast and endocrine, actually, initially, my thought wasn't towards breast and endocrine, sir. Because initially, I was quite naive regarding what needs to be done post-MS. And I was a little bit confused as well. So then I continued to work in my department and my uh, HOD and my uh, mentors were like more towards thyroid and breast surgeries. Who inspired so, My chiefs are always... <laughs> My chief and my HOD, they're all uh, great uh, surgeons. To name? Dr. Prem Kumar and Dr. Rajesh Kumar. Great, great. So both of them were like uh, the ideal mentors for any postgraduate. So they had, uh, so I used to work under them. And then uh, suddenly out of the blue, I started, uh, we are supposed to take a lot of classes for undergrads and uh, the postgrads as well. So I used to start la liking reading about thyroids and uh, breasts. Uh, that really started fascinating me. So I started developing an interest towards uh, thyroid and breast. So then uh, I started, my wife is also basically from Coimbatore in the same college. So she's doing her postgrad in the same college as well. So I had to stay back uh, in Coimbatore for a while. So I thought probably let me fine tune my skills and all this and now I thought it's the ideal time to pro probably continue your future in uh, the same. So I joined Speed a uh, year back and uh, then I've been uh, regular classes and modules and all these things. And now here I am. Sir. <laughs> Great. I mean, uh, can you share your uh, preparation strategies and we've been working in your department and assistant professor, am I right? Yes, I am an assistant professor. I was basically, I resigned a couple of months back, so just to prepare for uh, exclusively for this uh, need. Uh, INISET initially wasn't my target, sir. My target only was uh, need superficiality. So, uh, INISET, I wanted to write just to see how, uh, I mean, well prepared I am and uh, what the range of questions they will be asking in endocrine because it's a very, very, very fairly new field to everyone. So then I uh, I was going through the, you know, the your speed institute is the only one which has a proper endocrine and breast training program for MCH sir. So uh, then I joined speed. Then I was in regular classes with Dr. Shikil and Dr. Adish and uh, their classes were absolutely fascinating to watch and just to learn and your general surgery classes as well absolutely. So it made reading and learning a lot of fun. So I basically went through with it. Sir. Because it became an online platform and we always want to interact with people who are preparing for it. Yes, so that sir. it creates a lot of uh, interest and also little motivates on a weekly basis. Yes, sir. Keep in pace because this is post MS and we'll be in different phase of life. Yes, so we thought, okay, we keep interacting, we, we're discussing. It's like more of a discussion yes, sir. rather than actually teaching. Yes, sir. that mode we preferred both for speciality and also general surgery. Yes, sir. so that was real. Uh, we didn't have I didn't have the strain of reading again uh, in the MS as well as the MCH portion and all these things. And regular notes was real helpful. So I used to take a lot of notes of all these uh, programs and modules, and it was really helpful. That is the thing about now. <laughs> Great. So, and I mean, we all know that the MCH breast and endocrine has very less number of seats and preparing in the competition is huge and making in that, and it's a, it's a great positive attitude to do that. Yes. Sir. And I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Sir. And also, and we want, and I also want to hear from you about what do you want to tell the juniors or friends who are aspiring and preparing for MCH breast and endocrine, what's your message? Sir, uh, frankly to say, when I told my colleagues and uh, the people around me that I want to pursue a career in endocrine, many of them were discouraging to me. 
frankly to say because they told there is no there are very few number of seats there is no scope for anything and you you are just going to be in another general surgery department and all sorts of things but frankly to say i have really been fascinated by the field of endocrine so if you really love your field just go ahead don't care about anyone else and just start reading so that's basically the one thing and uh, the material in speed is just so vast that uh, you can probably crack any exam uh, easily with this and uh, so that is basically the only thing as of now sir so my next uh, main target is neat ss anyway so the preparation is going on for that keep, keep going another 10 15 days to go yes, yes. i think definitely this confidence will make you perform like anything <laughs> so number of questions you attended in uh, in yes um, sir i had i had attended around 75 questions sir at 5 i didn't know so 75 i had quite uh, i was quite sure about 60 to 65% of the questions and the 10 were all borderline and 5 uh, i couldn't i didn't wonderful wonderful and uh, as the new year is coming up in two days and uh, i wish you uh, happy new year thank you and, and a prosperous and a successful upcoming new year thank you. Thank you. for you for your family members and also for your friends and relatives thank you so much sir and also wish you a great career in mch breast and endocrine yes and the passion and the love that you have for the subject will give you a great degree of performance both in the speciality and also to the patients thank you so all much. the best and all the success thank you so much thank you, thank you.